Okay, engine is on. We can go ahead and start taxing forward a little bit. So today I'm going to be flying the Focke-Wulf 190 A3 model. I don't normally get to fly the Focke-Wulf 1... Oh man, come on tailwheel, lock for me. So this thing's really hard to taxi. Let's see if I can turn it around real quick. It's got a weird tailwheel locking mechanism that I just can't quite get right. So hopefully in a second I'm going to have some two other Focke-Wulf 190s that are going to join me line up on the runway so that we can all three go have some fun patrolling the Stalingrad coast. Okay, any second now, my other two guys should be forming up on me, heading up to the runway, and then waiting on me so we can all three take off together. We're just going to do a quick little patrol of the Stalingrad River, of the Volga River, along the Stalingrad Heights. There we go, group flight select. I think each of us has a 500-pound bomb strapped to our belly that we're going to hopefully make use of if we find anything. Secondary target is enemy aircraft. Okay, I've stopped. That was enough of a challenge just in itself getting over to this runway. My other two guys don't have a bomb underneath them, I guess but they're just going to be escort for me while I do the ground attack today. I'm going to wait for these two clowns to line up behind me, then we're going to take off. Might as well close the canopy while I'm at it too. Okay, looks like they're both starting to line up on me now. That guy's just going to take a second to stop. Eagle 3 ready for takeoff. Okay, here we go. Tail wheel locked. We're going to begin throttle up with a little bit of right rudder to keep myself on the runway. This thing's going to be a nightmare to take off with. This thing feels really weird with one bomb. Pilot notes are saying 1.32 is combat power, so I can speed myself all the way up to 1.32. There we are. We're just going to chill at max combat power for now. Okay, so down off to my left wing over there is a Soviet factory. We haven't found any air cover as of yet. Ooh, that guy got a little close. There's a lighthouse down there. So yeah, no Soviet air cover as of yet, and that factory is looking pretty nice and unguarded, so I think I'm going to go do some bombing runs. Put my 500 pound bomb right up there, uh, right up there, borscht.
Okay, let's go in. I think I see a good target over there. We're gonna aim for one of these smokestacks. Here we go. Hopefully that bomb had time to arm. Bam, perfect shot. Ooh, looks like the Soviet anti-aircraft guns are also opening up. I'm gonna go in for another run before any of the air cover shows up again. face to face with what looks like a single yak somewhere out in the sky. My teammates are pulling off away from this one, so I think I'm gonna go 1v1 with them. All right, he's definitely below me. Slow. He's like falling out of the sky right now. Ooh. It's a 1v3. I don't think this guy stands much of a chance. Even so, though. We'll just wait for him to get smacked by a friendly. There we go, just what I was talking about. Smacked by a friendly. Ooh. And I just put some bullets right into his cabin too. That guy is out of the sky. Huh, that looks like some trucks that are moving. They're definitely Soviet. I think it's time I... Ooh, hold on. Ooh, that's a train. I want to get that thing while it's on the bridge. Okay, here we go. First pass got everything but the locomotive disconnected. Somehow that thing's still moving.
Okay, let's destroy the rest of the train cars. Oh, that was a spicy drop. Okay, now off to go after those trucks that were out here somewhere. He managed to turn away just in time and it juked me. Okay, we'll go back and do another pass on these guys. Got him. Okay, one last pass on these fools. Alright, two trucks, now let's boom away. Okay, so now it looks like I'm in the middle of a dog fight, and one of my friendlies was just knocked out of the sky. Damn, it's now a 2v4 I think, and we need to worry about, oh, let's avoid this guy's nose, I need to worry about who else might be in the air. Okay, that's a friendly Clock Wolf 190. I think I'm going to play this vertical game with this guy right here for now. As I try and save my last friendly from certain demise right here. Full emergency power, come on. I just can't do it. The frames are just too low right now. Come on. Alright, shot that guy up. Now I gotta play this game with these two. Didn't manage to get that guy. Haven't managed to get that guy either. Okay. See if I can follow wherever this guy wants to go to.
Okay, I'm chasing this guy and I finally caught up to him. That also looks like a flight of enemy planes up above. Okay. Let's see if I can snipe this guy. Well, I shot him up quite a bit. Am I going to be able to go after his friendlies? I think they're too high. Oh yeah. He's not going down yet. Interesting. I hit that guy pretty hard too. I'm surprised he's not going down. Well, I guess I gotta go back in for another pass. Okay, let's see if I can do this maneuver right here. Over the top of two of them. I don't know who's behind me, but I'm gonna come up behind this guy. Right here. Oh, they're starting to do turn rate bullshit around me. I might have to back it off and then just start climbing for an altitude advantage. I can out G this guy though, because the Focke-Wolf has a little bit of an inclined seat. Although I believe this is a P-38 light, uh, not P-38, P-39 Air Cobra. And that has a G-suit. So it might actually be able to out G me. Oh, it doesn't matter. Absolutely exploded. Damn. Okay. Now that's what the Focke-Wolf 190 is for. Crazy cannons. Well, let's head home.